American soda fountain reached its heyday in the 1940s, offering carbonated sodas mixed with ice cream or syrups. We've come a long way since the soda shop craze, but syrup maker Anton Nocito is reviving the pastime drink with inventive, all-natural ingredients through his company, PH Soda Co. What drew you to the idea of a soda shop? Um, I always went to them as kids. My grandfather and my father would bring me to them. I always knew I wanted to be in food. I was baking when I was a kid with my grandfather. When I went in the Air Force, I was supposed to be a mechanic, and I was a butcher uh, for four years in the Air Force. It totally got me into the food industry. I mean, I worked in grocery stores for 10 years, and then, you know, I loved cooking at home, and just said, uh, you know, I think I want to be a chef. Most people that start a beverage company, I would say 99% don't cook. When I developed all these recipes, it was really just like me in the kitchen with a notepad and a bunch of ingredients that half of which I never even used before and would just be like, I'm going to try and make this taste good. And after sometimes two tries, sometimes 20 tries. I think that that's one of the things people like about your product is that instead of using extracts, you're actually using the raw ingredients. Most definitely. It was originally all developed just for sodas. And then some of my accounts started saying, oh, we're making cocktails with it. And I was like, oh, okay. So that just sort of took off on its own. I sell to a, you know, a lot of pretty good high-end restaurants in the city. Uh, one of those restaurants is Bobo. Anton has published a book of recipes for you to make at home with syrup and cocktail instructions. But we visited Bobo in the village to learn how to incorporate syrups into cocktail hour. So our sarsaparilla, sarsaparilla soda. Everyone says sarsaparilla, it is sarsaparilla. We start out with this. We decided to use a bourbon, uh, Old Overholt bourbon from 1810. Uh, you really want a spirit that blends very well with other ingredients. We found Old Overholt really fit that bill. So this is an ounce and a half of Old Overholt that we pour over ice, and we use uh, three quarters of an ounce of sarsaparilla syrup, star sarsaparilla syrup. I'm from Brooklyn, I tend to leave out the R. Sorry. Most cocktails you will find have something acidic in it to find a balance. And that's just a half ounce of lemon. Again. And because it's a soda, we add soda. Want to mix that up. And our old Brooklyn soda straws. And cheers. Fabulous. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's delicious. A little bit more acidic, a little bit more tart, and more summery than it's like a summer root beer. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's what the lemon does too. Yeah. A little tartness. You really want that. It also brings out the brightness of the flavor of the sarsaparilla. Yeah. It just balances it out, and then the bourbon gives it a nice finish to it. So go on. Forget Coke, Mountain Dew, or drab cocktail mixers. Stir up something exciting. P and H Soda Co. And in the spirit, things get a little ginny as I taste Greenhook Ginsmith Gin and learn how to make a beach plum pins cup from Alder bartender Kevin Denton. <laughs>